Friends of Gravity, this is an absolute classic among the Marble Run systems out there. Galt Marble Run Royalty from England. <laughs> The Galt Marble Run has been a staple in the Marble Run universe for decades, I believe. The internet and eBay are teeming with knockoffs and copies of this system. And I wasn't able to 100% ascertain they invented this kind of system. But let's assume this for now. If you know better, please leave me a comment below. So this is at least surely one of the earliest systems employing this kind of idea of stackable cylindrical elements and those chutes. And I needed to get my hands on this and see for myself, is this any good? And if there's any justification for the fame of this system. At the same time, this is the first British marble run I have on this channel, so I'm absolutely thrilled to take a closer look at this. Back of the box, quite simple, list the contents, six tubes, six curves, nine tubes, three bases and six marbles. They're including the marbles in their count of pieces to arrive at 30 pieces total. Interesting decision and a really small setup. The whole thing will form in the end. But to get a gist of the whole thing, this should be totally fine. Here we go, James Gold, Cheshire, England. But make no mistake, designed in England, made in China. This was actually purchased at a physical toy store when visiting the toy store we were absolutely surprised by the relatively moderate price of 10 euros and 49 cents for this small box so this was given to me as a present and uh, I, I was very happy about that and that's why I'm all the more excited to take a look at this now. Marble run in case we were in doubt a little leaflet showing what kind of builds can be achieved with this printed in China. One thing I instantly noticed is I had been wondering if this system is at all compatible with other systems that work in a similar way. But this for instance is not compatible to Cacetti Migoga because the tracks are much shorter. Pretty straightforward. These are the tracks, round ones here. The plastic material is very firm. They click together nicely. Feels good and two colors of chutes in the box, red ones and blue ones. And these are the cylindrical elements that form the columns. And those bases, this is where the columns will rest on and the marbles will drop out here and be collected in this round space here. These are the marbles. Regular classic glass marbles, very nice. I'm gonna set this up, shouldn't take too long I guess. I'm gonna try and stick to the colors that are displayed here to see if what's on the box matches what's in the box. So those attach quite firmly, I like that. Okay, so I arrived at something like this when I was just trying to build this and I was wondering how can I make this connection? And the answer is that you can of course move the whole thing like this to create a diamond shaped form and then you can link those two and that's the way this is meant to be set up. So this is the whole marble run it seems. I tried to build exactly what's on this leaflet here and it attaches quite firmly. You can pick it up and move it around. You can definitely not do that with the Cacetti Migoga. The only trouble here is I don't see how a marble could ever arrive here because there is no passageway through here. Let's think about this. So there's a starting point here and the marble goes this way and ends up here. And there's a starting point up here where the marble will end up here. So there's two starting points. There can never be three endings because there's no split in this. 
So this here in the back, this is purely for decorative purposes. But overall, I mean, this looks cool. This is an interesting thing. Let's throw a marble in. I think I like this. I like the colors. I like the firm plastic. I like the simplicity of it. I've been reading online comments of people complaining that the system was too expensive and uh, the quality was not up to standard and you would be paying for the brand name only. I think for this thing I cannot agree. I think 10 euros and 50 for something like that is a totally okay price. I mean I would love to see the other elements that are featured in this system like the funnels and more intricate tracks and there are all kinds of splits and things that turn and twist and I can totally see how if you have a thousand pieces of this you can build an absolutely exciting marble run and I can see why there are so many YouTubers using this system. I mean, what do you think if you look at the different systems that work like this one with those cylindrical elements? Which one is best and why? If you have an opinion on this, uh, leave me a comment below. This was my very quick unboxing and first look at the Galt Marble Run system. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more exciting Marble Run videos. And please remember, what goes up must come down here at Gravity Bytes.